In this video, we are going to be following the career of the new French wonder kid named Lionel Belmont. He was known as playing football in the parks in France and was recruited into the Marseille Youth Academy. And as time has gone on, he has climbed the ladder up the youth levels until he hit 16 and met with the current Marseille manager, Roberto De Zebri, to talk about his future. And in that meeting, we are joined by our agent, as the meeting is about our first ever professional contract. As we have now turned 16, we are eligible. And as the meeting went on, we have officially signed our first ever professional contract with Marseille as we earn five and a half thousand per week with a contract expiry of 2026, which is three years. And after signing our contract, we have been moved up into the Marseille under-19s for this upcoming season. And it did not take us long to get off the mark for the Marseille under-19s as our teammate plays it across to Belmont, takes a touch and smashes it home with his left foot to get his first ever goal in the Marseille under-19s with a nice golf swing, which will be his celebration for his career. And Belmont's first goal for the Marseille under-19s was very useful as he ended up winning 3-1 against Rodez. And as the season continued, it was the start of the UEFA Youth League and this is our group. We are joined by Napoli, Atletico Madrid and Newcastle under-19s. A very difficult group for our first ever campaign in the UEFA Youth League. And we did manage to take the league in the opening match of the UEFA Youth League as our teammate races in behind and lays it off to Belmont who scores with his left foot. A beautiful finish from the youngster as he gets his first ever UEFA Youth League goal in his career and gives Marseille the lead. But unfortunately, we couldn't hold on to get the win. In the 83rd minute, Napoli have a chance. They broke through us and finished it superbly to pool level. And that is full time as we finish our UEFA Youth League debut with a one all draw at home to Napoli. And a few months have gone by and it's now time for our final UEFA Youth League match as we host Atletico Madrid. And this is how the standings looked. It's very, very, very close at the top with Marseille leading it with Atletico Madrid sitting second tied with Napoli in third. It's all to play for in the final match. Can Belmont lead Marseille into the knockout stages? And we did manage to take the lead as our teammates slip through Belmont, who lays it off to the teammates, and it's in! Lee Norman scores for Marseille, 18 minutes into the contest, and Marseille take the lead. But unfortunately, we couldn't hold on to our lead as Atletico Madrid played it through. He could have laid it off, went for goal instead. It's a beautiful finish as Atletico Madrid pull level. And that was it as Marseille and Atletico Madrid were locked in a one all draw, which 100% confirms our qualification into the next round. But this is how the table looks as Marseille finish it sitting in first with 10 points. Atletico Madrid finishing in second as Napoli conceded with 20 minutes left of the match to draw one all with Newcastle as they finished in third, getting knocked out. And into the knockouts we go. We take a trip to Germany to play off again against Leipzig in the round of 16 of the UEFA Youth League. Can Belmont lead Marseille into the quarterfinal? Let's find out. And we got off to the perfect start with a beautiful ball slip through and he takes a shot just inside the box and puts it away to give Marseille the lead. And just a few minutes before halftime, Belmont raced through one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Can he finish it to make it 2-0 for Marseille? Yes, he does. Of course he does. He is him. Belmont strikes to make it 2-0 to Marseille just before the halftime whistle. And 20 minutes into the second half, Belmont racing away on the right-hand side, beats his man with absolute ease, plays it into his teammate, a good touch, and somehow has squeezed it in, and Marseille make it free, and surely book themselves a spot into the UEFA Youth League quarterfinal. But Leipzig weren't going to go down without a fight, as their main man, the striker, he is through, one-on-one, -on -one, only a few minutes after Marseille scored, and it's in! And Leipzig pull one back. Is there a potential bottle on here for Marseille? And the answer to that question was no. Marseille win 3-1 to book themselves a spot into the UEFA Youth League quarterfinals. And after securing ourselves a spot into the next round of the UEFA Youth League, we came up against Feyenoord as he took a trip to the Netherlands in the hopes to make the semi-finals. But unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be as Feyenoord scored the winner in the 87th minute to send Marseille out of the UEFA Youth League. It was a very boring game, but Feyenoord managed to get it done as our journey in the UEFA Youth League ends in the quarterfinal. It was heartbreaking stuff for Belmont and the team, but we will have to go again. But after that disappointing result, 
in the UEFA Youth League as we got knocked out. We were just on the couch watching a YouTube video, and it's a great YouTube video as well. It's, it's made by the Football Outlook. I think you should go subscribe. It's a very good video, very good content. You should definitely go and subscribe and like the video while you're at it. But while we were there, we were very immersed in the video, but we did get a buzz from our phone, and as we looked at it, we got contacted by a name that we do not have saved in our contacts. And what is said in the message that this is the French under-19 manager, Bernard Diomed, as he has said that we have been selected for the first time to make the French under-19 squad for their upcoming qualifying matches for the Euro Championship. And that qualifying match was against Spain at home in France for our first ever appearance for a national team at the youth levels as we look to make a big impression. And we did manage to take the lead just before the first half whistle blew as this was a beautiful ball. I mean, Kanata is completely unmarked at the back post. Spain have no idea he's even there. And the captain, Kanate taps it home to give France the lead. And late into the second half, Belmont was taken out in the box. And it is a penalty in the 83rd minute. France have the chance to extend their lead to 2-0 to get all three points. And Belmont on his debut for the France national team puts it home. And Belmont gets his first ever international goal. It's obviously at youth level, but it's still bloody counts. Belmont is off the mark. And what a moment for the youngster. And that was full time as France win 2-0 against Spain in the qualifying with Belmont getting his first ever goal for France and hopefully more to come. After making our international debut for the France under-19 team, it's been a few months since then. And well, this is how the table looks with only one game remaining. Toulouse lead the league by one point with Marseille sitting in second with it all to play for on the final day. And for our final match, we host Bastia. And while we won it high, Lee Norman wins it early and they play it into Belmont. What can he do? He loses it, but a full smart teammate and it's in. What a perfect start. It's only taken six minutes and Marseille take the lead and it's all on Toulouse now. And only a few minutes later, Marseille went to look for the second and as Belmont lines it up and it's in what a goal probably a little bit of poor keeping but it is what it is Belmont scores to make it two for Marseille and it's only been 10 minutes what a perfect start but Bastia was not going to go down without a fight so they take a long shot it's deflected and it falls straight to him and they slot it home and it's game on and as we just hit the 25th minute, Belmont is played through. It's a beautiful through ball. Belmont one on one with the keeper. Can he restore the two goal lead? Yes, he can. It's a beautiful finish. And the Frenchman scores again to restore Marseille's two goal lead and put them in pole position to potentially win the league. And an eventful first half comes to an end. Marseille lead 3-1, but we have bad news. Toulouse lead Montpellier 2-1 after the first half. So as it stands, Toulouse will win the league. And 15 minutes into the second half as we take this corner. It's a chance. Belmont plays it in. Is he going to go in? It is. It's horrendous keeping. And Marseille extend their lead to 4-1. And we have some good news. Montepellier has equalized. It is now 2-all with 30 minutes left to play. And as it stands, Marseille will be league winners. And as our game ended, we ended up winning 4-1 against Bastia. And while the Toulouse game still has a few minutes left, and it currently sits at 3-all, and we've just got news, Montepellier have scored. It is now 4-3 to Montepellier with only minutes remaining. And the Marseille players start to celebrate as it's surely confirmed now that Marseille are French national under-19s Group D champions. And with the full-time whistle being blown in the Montepellier to lose game, Montepellier win 4-3, which means Marseille have indeed won the title. And as we celebrate it, as we lift our first ever trophy in our career, Belmont has his first trophy in his cabinet. Yes, it isn't a senior trophy, but all trophies count. And just after winning the Under-19 Group D Division title, our season with Marseille is far from over. As the French Under-19 League works this way, we are split into four groups, Group A, B, C, and D, and the title winners of each group play off in a semi-final and final to see who is the French Under-19 National Champion. And we are going to be playing PSG in the first semi-final. And while Marseille got off to the perfect start, our teammate beats his man, lays it in, and then plays it back into Belmont, who scores within four minutes. What a start for Marseille, and it is him again. The number nine hero of Marseille does his classic celebration as Marseille take a 1-0 lead in the semi-final.
And into the second half we go as PSG drive for their midfielder beats one beautifully. Plays it in. It's a massive chance for PSG. And it's in. Off the crossbar and in. And PSG draw level. Four minutes into the second half. And it is heartbreak and a horrible start to the second half for Marseille. And now we've just ticked into the 60th minute of the semi-final. As PSG come forward, they play him through beautifully. It's a massive chance and it's in. It is heartbreak for Marseille. PSG turn it around and score in the 61st minute. And now Marseille have 29 minutes to find a goal. Otherwise, they're out. But unfortunately for Marseille, after a fantastic season, winning the Group D title, a fantastic first season for Belmont in the under-19s for Marseille, it does end in heartbreak as it's full-time in the semi-final, with PSG going through to the final, winning 2-1, as Belmont's first season in the under-19s for Marseille comes to an end with a loss. And now that our domestic season has been completed, it's time to have a little look at our season stats for the Marseille under-19s. We had 35 starts with one off the bench, scoring 26 goals and getting 7 assists with an average rating of 7.32. We really had a fantastic first season in the Marseille under-19s. But the senior team did not have any success whatsoever as they finished all the way down in 11th place, finishing nowhere near European football only managing to get 41 points. Which means that next season, the under-19s for Marseille will not be in the UEFA Youth League, which means Belmont's only going to be able to play domestically. And with such a horrible season, as you would expect, the higher-ups at Marseille have decided to sack our manager, Roberto De Zebri. So there will be a new man at the helm of Marseille for next season, but that won't be affecting Belmont anytime soon. And a few weeks after the conclusion of the domestic season for the Marseille under-19s, Belmont was just working at the gym, you know, putting in the hard yards in the summertime. But as he was focusing on working out, his phone started vibrating. And as he looked at the message, it is the France under-19 manager messaging him that he has been selected to represent France in the upcoming under-19s Euro Championship held in Malta. And with that, we got our first flight to Malta to meet up with our teammates for the upcoming Euro Championship. And for our first game of the under-19 Euros held in Malta, we are playing Ireland. And this is our group. We have England, Ireland, and Northern Ireland. You would expect us in England to get through, but we have to get the points on the board. But unfortunately for Belmont, he's going to be sitting on the bench for the opening game of the under-19 Euros as he just gets to watch on and hope that the manager puts him on the field. But as halftime rolls around, it is nil all between France and Ireland. Nothing too special happening so far, and maybe the manager might just bring on Belmont. And as we reach the 65th minute mark of the this opening match of the under-19 Euros, Belmont has been given the nod and he is coming on to hopefully change the game. But as the game was getting ever closer to being a nil-all draw on the opening day, France started to build in the 89th minute, plays it back to the captain, it's in, he's done it, Canate does it for France, and they take the lead in a crucial opening match, and you can see what it means to the team, Belmont in there celebrating, and surely this is three points. But France weren't just going to sit back and try and see out the game. They wanted a second, and he's won it. It's a chance for France. He's still going. It's in. France make it two. And now surely, 100% guaranteed, it is three points. And it's Lee Norman who scores. Our Marseille teammates. And that is the full-time whistle blown. France 2, Ireland 0. And France are off the mark in this under-19 Euros championship. And it's the perfect start for France. And for our second match of our group stage, we play Ireland again, but a different one this time, Northern Ireland, in our second match of the group stage. Northern Ireland suffered a 3-0 defeat to England in the first match, so their tournament is on the line. If France win today, they will automatically secure their spot into the knockouts. And good news, Belmont is starting, and hopefully he can get a goal. And we got off to the perfect start within 10 minutes as Belmont has the ball on the right-hand side. Delivers a cross. It's a beautiful ball on a plate for the captain. And Belmont gets an assist within 10 minutes and France take an early lead. And as we just pass the halfway point of the half, Belmont takes a beautiful touch. Runs in behind. Does he have the pace to beat him? He sees the runner on the inside. It could be two and it's two. Belmont with two assists. And his first ever start in the under-19 Euro Championship. And it's a captain again. 
and France take a 2-0 lead. But Northern Ireland will not go down without a fight as they play a beautiful ball over the top. It's a first time volley and it's in. It's a beautiful goal from Northern Ireland and they're back in the game just before the end of the first half. And that was half time, 2-1 lead for France, but a big second half coming up. And we just hit the 65th minute and what a chance for France. Belmont lays it off, is it the captain? He gets a hat trick. Can you believe it? A hat trick for the captain and a hat trick of assists for Belmont. It's a beautiful game from Lionel Belmont for France. And surely that is all three points secured. But again, Northern Ireland were determined to not give up as they drive through in the 88th minute. Have a chance. It's a beautiful finish. And while it's a nervy ending for France, can they hold on to the slim lead? But we managed to hold on as France secure a very tight in the end 3 2 victory over Northern Ireland, securing their spot into the semi finals because there's only two groups of four. And now it's time for our final group game, and we all know who we're playing. It's the English. It is England in our final match of the group. As you can see in the table, England have also won their first two games of the group stage. So both us and England already have secured their spot into the semi final. So this game is basically just to see who comes first. And well, unfortunate news, Belmont is not starting, but he did come off the bench as it was nil all after 60 minutes, with the manager hoping that he can spark something for the team after his fantastic performance in the last game. And spark something he did in the 80th minute the ball fell to Belmont with a beautiful finish into the far corner and with only 10 minutes left France take the lead Belmont gets his first goal of the tournament and it's a fantastic finish and surely France can see this out and that's exactly what happened as France win 1-0 against England to finish top of the group with three wins from three and make their way into the semi-final and now it's time for the Euro Under-19 Championship semi-final as we play against the Netherlands. And unfortunately, we've got bad news again. Belmont is on the bench again for the second game in a row. Even though his performances have been brilliant, the manager just is an idiot. But the Netherlands got off to the perfect start, playing it through as he's running in, in behind. He takes a big touch, takes a little bit away from goal, but he lays it back inside. It's a massive chance for Netherlands and it's off the post. And France are lucky. But the Netherlands come again as the overlap works on the left-hand side. And there's so much space in the box. What a cross! And an absolutely horrendous header. The Netherlands could easily be up 2-0. But now it's time for France to get forward as the captain brings it forward and plays it in. It's a chance. It's in the back of the net. It's in. But he's offside. He can't believe it, number 30. And as we look at the replay, he was <laughs> quite far offside. Good call from the linesman. But that was the first half done. Nilo at the break. Netherlands will probably feel like they should be in the lead. France obviously scoring an offside goal. But the Netherlands had two really big chances. One off the post and one ridiculously bad header. But it is Nilo at the break. But only a few minutes into the second half. France starting to build an attack. And he plays it in. It's the captain. Does he do it again? Of course he does. He is just him. This tournament for France. The captain scores again. And France take the lead just at the start of the second half. What a massive goal from the captain. But the Netherlands went chasing for the equaliser and they played it through. It's a big chance for the Netherlands. They've got numbers in the box. It's on the volley. It's a good save. But it was straight at him. And that is that. The Netherlands will regret the chances they missed today. But Belmont sits on the bench and stays there as France secure a spot in the Euro Under-19 final as they beat the Netherlands 1-0 thanks to Kanate, the captain, yet again. And after that triumph against the Netherlands... It is time for the Euro Under-19 Championship Final as we play against Spain. And unfortunately, again, Belmont is stuck on the bench. I don't know what the manager's thinking, but if they win today, I guess what he was thinking was correct. But Spain got off to a fast start as he was slipped through, lays it off, chance, good save from the France number one. But from the resulting corner, Spain created a chance, the keeper comes for it, doesn't get there, it's off the crossbar, and France survive. And that was the first half completed, France really struggling to create anything, Spain had two big chances, but it is Nilo at the break. And it did not take long for the manager to bring him off the bench. Belmont is on the field in the Euro Under-19 Championship, 
with 35 minutes left, hoping that he can spark the French attack. But the Spanish kept coming as they played a good ball. In behind on the left-hand side is a chance for Spain. France all over the place. It's a long shot. It's a good save again from the number one. But from the resulting corner, Spain build their attack again and easily beats his man. It's a chance. Is he going to shoot? He is. It's a good save again. And safe hands. He's having an excellent game. And Spain come again. It is just wave after wave of Spanish attack. It's a beautiful ball in. And it's an excellent save again. He is having an unbelievable match. He's keeping France in this. And from the resulting corner, Corner, it's taken short and the France defense are absolutely asleep. The ball comes in. It's come off the crossbar. Oh my lord. But the Spanish attacks never end. It's another chance for Spain. His touch takes him a little bit too wide but he plays it back in. It's beautifully done and it's saved again. He's so good. And again it's Spain. It is only Spain in this game. It's a chance. Oh my lord. What a save. I don't believe what I'm seeing. It's Prime Neuer. And as we enter the last minutes of the game, Spain come forward and dink it in. He's completely free. And finally, the French keeper's been beat. And Spain have done it in the 89th minute. It is Santiago for Spain. And it is heartbreak for the French in Belmont. As Spain look to win it. And the dying embers. And Canate cannot believe it after the fantastic Euros he's had. It will be absolute heartbreak, but you can't complain about it. It has been only Spain today. France has been nowhere to be seen. And that is it. Spain win 1-0 as they come pouring onto the pitch. As France are heartbroken, Belmont loses his first ever international final. And it is absolute heartbreak for France, but Spain utterly deserve it. I mean, it was one-way traffic the entire 90 minutes, and France can only look at themselves. And there you have it, the trophy lift for Spain. The under-19 Euro champions are the Spanish as they win 1-0 against France in the final and a deserved victory for the Spanish. But Belmont will be back. And after the heartbreak of the under-19 Euros loss to Spain in the final, Belmont had a nice summer holiday. But it's time to get back to work as the second season starts and we started off meeting with the new manager. And the new manager who has been hired by the Marseille board was Julian Lopetegui, the former Wolves manager. He signed a three-year deal at Marseille and we're going to meet him for the first time. And we went with our agent as we were discussing our future at the club. For this season, Marseille want us to stay in the under-19s for one more year before moving out on loan in the future seasons to get some senior experience. And they also announced that they have triggered a one-year optional extension. So now our expiry is in 2027. And with all that out of the way, we started to work hard in pre-season and started our campaign for our second year in the under-19s for Marseille after we had a fantastic first season last year. And as the season progressed, obviously we had no UEFA Youth League thanks to Marseille, the senior team, finishing in 11th, giving us no European football for the season. And so we're already just through the season and we're into a massive match of only two games left of the under-19 domestic season. We sit first four points clear at the summit with Saint Etienne sitting in second and that's who we play today. Marseille take a trip to Saint Etienne with it all to play for and a win tonight for Marseille and they will be crowned champions with a match to spare. But Marseille got off to the perfect start. They started it off on the right hand side, played it in behind as a good ball. Plays it into Belmont, who takes a touch and plays it to his teammate, who strikes outside the box, and it's in! Marseille take the lead in such a huge match, and he goes into the ad board, as he is truly out of this world. It's a great finish, and it's an early lead. And as the ref blew the halftime whistle, Marseille leaded Saint-Étienne, one nil at halftime, and as it stands, they are the under-19 Group D champions. And midway through the second half, a corner is taken from Belmont, but it's taken short. The teammate plays it in. It's a chance. It's a good build-up play. It's a great set-piece routine. Lays it off. Chance. And it's somehow squeezed in. And Marseille make it two in the 63rd minute. And surely now the title is secured for Marseille. And as the ref blew the full-time whistle, it is back-to-back -back Group D titles for Marseille as they now go on to the playoffs in the hopes of winning it all. And this was the final standings as Marseille finished first with 65 points, beating Saint-Étienne by four points in the race for the title. And we had some more good news as Lionel Belmont won the top scorer for Group D with 24 goals this season, with second place and third place both being from Toulouse, beginning 21 and 20 respectively.
And as we were preparing for our semi-final clash in the playoffs, we got a message. And this message is we have been selected for the France under-20 squad for the World Cup held in Chile. And this is actually a little bit heartbreaking because we have to leave now. We can't take part in the playoffs for this season as we are going to be playing at a World Cup in South America. And as we made our way to South America, to Chile, we kick off our campaign in the Under-20 World Cup as we play against Senegal in the first group game. And unfortunately, Belmont is on the bench. And while France got off to the perfect start, only four minutes into the game, it's through, it's a chance, it's in! France take an exceptionally early lead. Four minutes into the game, and France are leading Senegal. And it's the perfect start. And into the second half we go, and Belmont gets a run out on the field to make his first ever appearance in a World Cup for France. And only a few minutes after Belmont came onto the pitch, France build again. It's a beautiful ball over the top. He heads it back to his teammate. Great touches. Oh, what a goal that is. And he gets his second of the day. It is a beautiful finish from the Frenchman. And France now have insurance. They have a two-goal lead. And surely this is three points. And that is full time. France 2, Senegal 0. And it's the perfect start to the World Cup for France. And after securing our first win in the World Cup with France, we switch on the television at our hotel to see Marseille under 19s play against Troyes in the French national semi final. Unfortunately, we can't be a part of it, but we are supporting nonetheless. But Marseille do not get off to a good start as the corner comes in as a header. It's a good save off the line from the defender, but the rebound's in. Horrendous keeping from the Marseille keeper and Troyes take the lead within the first few minutes. It's a horror start. And that was half time as Marseille trail Troyes 1 0. And it's a massive second half coming up. And into the second half we go with only 10 minutes remaining. Marseille come forward and it's a great chance. It's a ball into the middle. Can he finish? He does! With only nine minutes left to play, Marseille level it. And now it's all on. And after 90 minutes, the two teams couldn't be separated. And now we prepare for extra time. And we're now nine minutes into the first half of extra time. And Sonny turns and he somehow wins it back. It's Sonny for Marseille. It's in. They've done it. They've turned it around. Marseille lead Troyes. And now they only have 20 minutes remaining to see this one out to book a spot in the final and that was full time Marseille do it they turn it around against Troyes and this time they will be in a final unfortunately Belmont's not there but it's a fantastic result for the team and now moving on to our second group match we play USA and this is how the table looks we do sit top as Argentina did beat USA by 2-0 as well so a win here tonight and we would 100% guarantee ourselves into the knockouts and Belmont is starting as you can see his first ever World Cup start for France and hopefully we can pull out a performance France get off to the perfect start a header comes in it's well cleared by the defender but a first time header into the captain Canate he he continues his form from the Euros last year with another goal on the international stage from the captain. He's utterly brilliant. But the French lead did not last long as USA come forward. It's a good run. Is he going to shoot? No, he back heels it beautifully. And it's in for America. USA are level. And now France have to score again. But that was half time as it ends 1-0 in Chile with it all to play for in the second half. But unfortunately, into the second half, Belmont did get substituted, which is unfortunate, so his game is over. But it did end one all between France and USA as the points are shared. And now it's time for our final group game. We play against Argentina. This is how the table looks. Argentina sit on six points, already secured for the next round. We sit on four points after our draw with the United States. And Belmont does start again. He did not have a good game last time out and hopefully he can step it up today. But France got off to the worst possible start as Argentina come forward and somehow absolutely jammed their way through. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and it's in. It's a horrible start. Two minutes into the game and France are losing. And that was half time. It was a very dull game. But Argentina lead France 1-0 at half time with potentially a future at the tournament on the line. 
And we have some bad news. Belmont has been taken out only 10 minutes into the second half. He's really not had a good game today. He didn't have a good game last time out. And he may be looking at getting the drop. And would you believe it? Only a couple minutes after Belmont was benched, France come forward. It's Canace. And of course, it is him. It is always him. The captain scores yet again. On the international stage for France, he's a future GOAT for sure. Another beautiful goal from Canate in France, pool level. And as we enter the last few minutes of the game, Argentina come forward. It's a good turn and he smashes it into the near post and Argentina have done it. They've won it with only a few minutes remaining and France may just be knocked out. And that is full time. Argentina win 2-1 against France, but we have qualified. This is the table. We finished sitting second, beating USA by two goal difference to make it into the round of 16. After securing our spot into the knockouts in the World Cup, we tune in again as Marseille under-19s pay off against PSG in the final for the French under-19 playoff final. Can we get our revenge against PSG? Belmont unfortunately can't participate. Hopefully the boys can do it. And Marseille are the first to come forward as they're building up. It's a great pass. Can he find him? He can. It's a beautiful ball. And it's in. Marseille lead within 17 minutes. And it's the perfect start for Marseille. Can they get revenge on PSG? And can they do it? Can they win it all? And it's halftime in the final. Marseille lead PSG 1-0. A big 45 minutes coming up. Can Marseille hold on to this lead and win it all? We're going to find out. And only five minutes into the second half, Marseille come forward. Sonny drives into a bit of space and he slips it in. It's a lovely turn. Oh my lord, what a goal! It's in! It's 2-0 to Marseille! Unbelievable finish from the youngster. And the Marseille under-19s are in pole position to win it all. And with only 20 minutes remaining, Marseille coming forward again. They already lead 2-0. They want free. Will they get free? Maybe they will. They will. Oh, my Lord. It's brilliant football by Marseille. They're winning 3-0. And Belmont's not even there. Maybe Belmont was always the issue. And with only nine minutes left, PSG have a corner. It's a chance from the corner. Oh, my God. It's off the line. That's absolutely excellent. But it's fallen to him. And he's nearly saved it again. But PSG do score. Potential comeback. Well, maybe not because he's stuck in the corner. And that's great time wasting by PSG. Marseille are absolutely loving it. But the full-time whistle has been blown. Marseille 3. PSG won. Marseille are your French national champions. Not Group D champions. Champions of France. What an achievement from the boys in white. It's unfortunate Belmont was not here to help lift the trophy for Marseille. He played a vital role in the season. And he has now got a massive match in the round of 16 of the World Cup in Chile. Now it's time for Belmont to refocus onto our round of 16 tie in the World Cup in Chile as we play Saudi Arabia to see who can make the quarterfinal. We have bad news. Belmont has been dropped to the bench after back-to-back -back bad performances, but hopefully he can come on and make a difference. France did not get off to a good start as Saudi Arabia came running through. It's a missed time challenge from the French defender. It's Saudi Arabia. They're in, and it's a fantastic finish into the top corner. And Saudi Arabia take the lead just after the half an hour mark and it's a massive goal in this World Cup tie and that was all for the first half France are down 1-0 to Saudi Arabia and it's not looking good for the French but only 10 minutes into the second half the managers made the decision Lionel Belmont is on for France and the managers hoping that he is the difference to help France potentially make a quarter final only a few minutes after Belmont came on it's given away by Saudi Arabia can France take advantage it's a great ball it's a massive chance it's it at the near post it's poor keeping and France make it one all with only 30 minutes remaining there's a chance to turn it completely around but unfortunately there was no comeback for France it ends one all and not just at full time at extra time as well and this tie will be separated by penalties and Belmont steps up for France to take the first penalty it's beautifully done but the keeper was pretty close to saving it now for Saudi Arabia, and I mean, it was a bit slow. I kind of would have expected the keeper to save that. The Norman now steps up for France. It's in. Our Marseille teammate strikes it home, and we take the lead. 
And Saudi Arabia's second penalty is in. Keeper doesn't guess the right way. And now it's time for Canate, the captain for France. And he slots it home. And France take the lead 3-2. And now it's Saudi Arabia's third penalty. And it's a fantastic penalty. It's for you all. France again to take the lead again, and they do. It's a good penalty. Saudi Arabia to make it for all. Yes, they do. Now it's time for the final penalties. It's France to take. It's saved. It's heartbreak. And it's up to Saudi Arabia score, and they are through. Can the French keeper pull out some heroics? No, he can't. It's straight down the middle. And Belmont and France are heartbroken. They are out of the under-20 World Cup in Chile in the round of 16. It is absolute heartbreak break for France and Saudi Arabia make it to the quarterfinal and really France are going home earlier than expected and after the heartbreak of losing to Saudi Arabia on penalties and getting knocked out in the round of 16, these were our stats for the season. 28 starts with five appearances off the bench, scoring 30 goals and three assists, getting an average rating of 7.65 in the domestic season. Obviously, we already talked about us being the top scorer as well. But in terms of the senior team, they have bounced back under the new manager. His first season at Marseille, and they are back into the Champions League, finishing in third, one point above Monaco in fourth. Obviously, quite far off the title, but that is not a surprise as PSG are just them. That is going to be the end of the first ever episode of the Belmont Player Career Mode. Now, it has taken a very long time to make this. It took a lot of work. It's been in the works for about a month and a half to two months. I had to go through a lot of strife to get this done. Um, I'm not very graphically creative. I'm not very good at these sort of things. It's a new thing for me. I hope you enjoyed it regardless. And I will try to get them out as much as possible. Hopefully not getting too much into the FC25 cycle before finishing it. But let me know your comments, your thoughts, what you did and didn't like about this episode. And I hope to see you in the next one where it just gets even better.